In this video, I'm going to show us how to get started making our drafting S assignment. A reminder, the drafting S, why we call it drafting S is it refers to it being relatively square um, or rectangle um, as we're in our creation. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by using the tape measure tool to make guidelines. So going in the tape measure tool, um, the next thing we want to do is come over and we're going to look at our first of all, uh, the distance going down or from our green axis going down our red axis and that on my page says 4 and 11 16 so what I do to enter this data is I click and drag and release or I can click and click either way after I'm done doing that I'm gonna enter data by hitting the number 4 space and then the fraction 11 over 16 and then hit the enter key when I do that, it's going to put my line in the right spot. Um, the one thing I do is I have an extra one right now. I'm going to just delete that off the edge. And I'm going to zoom in to where I'm working. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go the opposite way. So down our green axis or from our red. So coming in, once again, tape measure tool, red axis, clicking with the hook, sliding down, clicking one more time, and then this time I'm entering the number 3 for 3 inches. Enter. Now, what I have made so far is our outside frame. Um, we have our dimension going up three inches and our length being four and eleven sixteenths. So if I come in now, I should be able to do or select my rectangle tool or hit the letter R on my keyboard, which automatically selects that, and then click from our origin to now what we've created an intersection where these two guidelines overlap. Click. And that's how we start our project. We start our drafting S by making a rectangle that is 4 and 11 sixteenths by 3 inches. Thanks for watching the video.